Y'all, it's that time again where we need to clean our brushes and combs. You probably clicked on this video to figure out how I actually do a deep clean with all of my brushes, combs, and hair tools. So I have a big bag right here, and I'm also going to show you guys how I deep clean them so I can continue to have healthy hair. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video of As Always Alia, where we always keep it real. Now, like I said in the intro, I'm gonna be cleaning my brushes and combs today. I actually have not done a video like this on my channel, so it should be super exciting. So you guys can watch me step by step to see how exactly I do a deep clean with all my brushes and combs. We're actually going to head downstairs into the kitchen in a second, but I wanna show you guys what's in this bag, friend. Y'all, it's a bunch. It's a bunch of brushes and combs, friend. So I actually need to go through and like sort because some of them actually have never been used before. Some of them are really dirty. So I really need to go through and what will be cleaning and not cleaning because like I said, some of them are still in their original packaging and some of them are super dirty. So let's go ahead and see what actually is in this bag. I'm gonna take some stuff out so you guys can see. And also, if you see something that you have at home, comment below. We are twinsies up in here, friend. I'm not gonna pull everything out because there's probably like 50 combs and brushes in here, but I do wanna pull out some stuff. This is my cosmology comb. I don't know if y'all can see, but baby, we gotta get her together. This is the cosmology paddle comb, y'all. If you don't have this, something that you might wanna get very cute very cute i'm not going to show you guys all of them but i'm going to show you guys some we got to go ham on these brushes and combs today honey this is from curl keeper and now we're going to have to treat our wooden brushes with a little bit more tlc but these ones get dirty like the easiest there's i don't know if you guys can see but there's so much dirt that is trapped in there that we, we got to clean out. This one, I use it religiously. I probably in like every video, so we definitely have to clean this. It is the Tangle Teaser Vented Hairbrush. Okay, we got to clean her too. So like I said, I'm not going to show y'all everything, but I'm going to show y'all some stuff. Just a regular, a little soft brush, another Curl Keeper brush. I don't even know. Like over the years, I've just collected so much stuff. Like it's crazy, so... Let me just start pulling it out in chunks, honey. We, we got all of this right here, too. Especially your, your edge control brushes. They get the dirtiest. Child, I got so much stuff in here. Like I said, some stuff we ain't even open yet. Like, like it's kind of crazy. So, y'all seeing it. There's still more stuff in here. So, I'm going to sort through and see what do I actually need to wash and what don't we need to wash. And I'm also going to show you guys how I get it done. So, if you're interested in seeing a mega stash of combs and brushes and how to deep clean them, then keep watching. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I did was lay out paper towels. I do use the industrial paper towels off of Amazon. If you're somebody who runs through paper towels quick, switch to the industrial ones. I also have apple cider vinegar, Dawn dish soap, and we'll be using baking soda as well. For my measuring cups, I have one tablespoon, and we also have one cup as well. Now, the trick here is I'm going to be using this little tool that I got from Timu, but you can also get it from Amazon, and that is a brush cleaner. Now, here are the brushes that I'm going to start to clean first. I'm just going to take my brush cleaner and start to break through. I want to start to get all of that excess hair and dirt up off of my brushes and this brush cleaner does such a good job yes you can use a rat tail comb but the bristles on this brush cleaner are so much more fine and smaller it just makes a lot more sense to use a brush cleaner over a rat tail comb so it's really easy to pull all of that dirt and you guys can use gloves as well but this is my hair so i don't mind going in with any gloves but if you feel uncomfortable just throw some gloves on now that all of my brushes and combs have been brushed out i'm gonna go ahead and take this bucket that i got from the dollar store and i'm going to start to put the baking soda in first now i normally don't measure i'm just doing this for y'all but i did three tablespoons of baking soda at first and the next step is is to go in with your apple cider vinegar just remember it's important to shake it because apple cider vinegar does settle if you guys look at the bottom so you just want to shake it and we'll be going in with one cup now listen to this
And if you don't know, when baking soda is mixed with vinegar, the acid breaks down the baking soda, causing a chemical reaction which releases carbon dioxide gas. This helps lift all the dirt, grime, and germs off of that surface. I added in my Dawn dish soap, and now we're going in with some warm water just to go ahead and fill that bucket. So this is how our mixture is looking. The first thing I'm going to do is go in and put all of my brushes in there face down. Now this is in no particular order, but next I'm I'm just going to add my edge control brushes into that mixture making sure the actual brushes in the water we're going to continue to apply all of my brushes and all of my combs into the water just put them in there and try your best to get them in there and then last but not least is my rat toe combs I don't know why I have so many y'all please don't ask me um, I did try my best to get all of them in there but I realized that I needed to add a little bit more water to fill the bowl up so everything is kind of submerged in that mixture because I added in more water i went ahead and added in a little bit more apple cider vinegar and also a little bit more baking soda at the top as well and we're also going to add in a little bit more dawn dish soap to the top and go ahead and give it a good wash so be alert if you have any open cuts on your hand you'll want to wear gloves because it will burn only brush that will not be soaking in this mixture is my brown wooden brush i just don't know how it's going to react to the water so i cleaned it and took it out but everything else will be sitting in here for roughly a few hours all right, so after a few hours, we are back, and it is time to go in with the fun part. I get to actually clean my brushes, and you guys can see the dirt has definitely risen to the top. I'm using anything like a comb, the brushing tool that I was using earlier, my rat tail comb to get all that dirt and grime off of my brushes and combs. Now, because the hair tools were soaking for a few hours, it's actually quite easy to clean them off. You need a little bit of manpower, but you you really should be good to go as you can see I'm just using a regular toothbrush and I'm picking at it also notice how I am cleaning all my brushes in the water if I take the brush out of the water and start to scrub that it's gonna spray everywhere so I had to keep it submerged in the water to make sure it wasn't like getting all over the place the key to cleaning your brushes and combs is definitely letting it sit for a few hours now that everything's clean I went ahead and have a fresh bucket of water I'm just gonna add some soap to there and apply all all of my brushes and combs back in the water and give it a good rinse again and now I'm just going to rinse it out these brushes and combs are now clean I just want to make sure all of this soap is off of them before we move on to the next steps which is drying so you can see I have a towel and I'm just laying all of my brushes and combs down and they will be sitting here for a few hours while they dry this process was super easy guys and if you liked how I clean my brushes and combs make sure you subscribe Hey y'all, all right, so I am back and all of my brushes and combs are clean, friend. We did that, honey. Took a while, but we got there though. I might leave them in this bucket for real, for real. I just don't have any space in my room or like anywhere to put the bucket. That's why I kept it in this Wawa bag because it was just, you know, a little bit more smaller and easier for me to keep in my room. I don't have a lot of space to have like big things like this. So yeah, I think I'm gonna just leave them in this bucket for now until I can find a better spot to put them. Comment below, where do you guys store all all of your hair brushes and hair combs at you probably don't have as much as me so you probably put them in like a drawer or something like that but I have a ton here and again these are the only ones that were dirty I still have ones that are new and that ones that are clean that I haven't used yet and ones that are still like in their original packaging yeah I'm gonna take all of my combs and brushes and probably just put them in here and use them as I need to um, I'm really happy that you guys stay tuned into this video watch from start to finish on how I like to clean my brushes and combs there's nothing to it you just really gotta let it sit and work your magic with that toothbrush going in and getting out the, all that dirt and grime you guys really don't want to use dirty brushes on your hair because it has dead skin cells in there there's dandruff in there uh, there's dirt and grime and build up all in there there's old product in there and you just don't want to brush that back onto your hair um, especially if your hair is clean you know it's like using a dirty rag or something on your body. You don't want to do that, friend. You don't want to do that. So, <laughs> so like I said, thank you guys for watching the video. I'm so excited. I think I'm just going to leave them in this little bucket here. If you guys have any questions about 
would I use my process or the system that I did? Please comment below and let me know if you guys have any questions whatsoever. You guys always know that I'm down to chat it up in my comments, friends. So just drop your comments below. Let me know if you guys have any of the brushes that I have here. This one's probably my absolute favorite so far. It just does a really good job at detangling my hair. And I also really like this cosmology comb, friend. I could go on and on about these products and these brushes and combs, friend. But that's how I deep clean my stash, y'all. And make sure you guys subscribe. My name is Aaliyah, and I love doing natural hair tutorials and showing you guys how I clean and keep up with all my hair products and hair tools and all that jazz. Make sure you guys tune in for the next video as well. I do a lot of hair tutorials on my page, and yeah, I think that's about it. All right, y'all, your girl is out of here. My name is Aaliyah. This is, as always, Aaliyah, where we always keep it real. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.